What's happening? This is John Sue, just slabber. We're um, joined by a very special guest today. This is the brother, George McGowan. Thank you very much for having me on, man. You're very much welcome, appreciated. Bro. You're blessed. This um, this here, this episode sponsored by Hotbox Studios in Belfast. He's a legend, as you know. Series one was on Hotbox, and we've brought it onto my own channel now. So we're still involved, you know. Thought we'd get. Get on the good professionals, bring them all here. Anyone <laughs> Big wants, compliment, thank you. Anyone that wants to smoke or anything, we'll bring them to the secret location. Oh, really? <laughs> you know. But this episode yeah. sponsored by Hotbox. Um, so I got you on today, my brother. You're a parkour. Yeah, parkour. Um, a lot of people probably don't know what that is. So it's basically just like outdoor gymnastics, essentially. Sick. I've seen some of your videos, bro. Freak me out. <laughs> thank you. Freak me out. So I got you on because... Um, you were over in Spain. Yeah, I actually met your brother, yeah, in Cabaroy. He has a lovely, lovely bar there, the Westerner. Yeah. Unbelievable. And he poured me some of the nicest shots I've ever had in my whole life. Yeah, he had a yeah. Kinder Bueno shot. It was like, imagine like a baby Guinness, but like with a hazelnut liqueur in it. And it was unbelievable. Wow, like a baby Guinness, but with hazelnut? It, was, it wasn't It was even, it was a similar consistency, but he used other stuff to make it. It wasn't Tia Maria used to make it, but it was unbelievable. Lovely. I um, love them we baby Guinnesses. I, I still love them. It's the easiest to, shot to drink, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I could drink loads of them. And then, then we, um, remember the wee strawberry milkshake ones? Yeah, yeah. Well, it's like having, baby Guinness even, it's like having an ice cream. Yeah, like the, the aftertaste is lovely. It's not They're like gorgeous. anything else. They are. So what were you doing in Spain? So I just went, um, I've been working a lot, so I went on a holiday with my girlfriend. Lovely. And randomly, like, just... By coincidence, I was like, oh, you that public sick over there. And then literally just down there, because we had went on the... You've been, obviously. Of course. So I, along I the strip. Live there. I lived there for like uh, six years. So we were along the strip, and then literally I just pointed over. We had food in a pizza place, and then we thought, you know that Mamma Mia? Yes. We had food in there, and then I we looked over, and I was like, sure, we'll go in there. Walked in, went up to the bar, ordered whatever. I was like, can I have two vodka lemonades, whatever I ordered? And straight away, he, just, yeah, he, just, he goes, you from Cark? And I was like, aye, and I was like, aye, I'm from Cork. Wow. Yeah, yeah, unbelievable. And then he was like, ah, oh, it's unbelievable. And then he said, I mentioned you. I was like, no way, John Sue, that's your brother. No way. Because, like, we were listening to your music, like, um, back in the day, Irish Eyes and stuff, literally, in an alleyway, smoking buckets. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like, Sick, bro. So what? So did he mention that he was my brother, and then you clicked in who it was? Well, he, he was talking about, um, obviously, he'd mentioned Carrick Belfast, and then he had said... But he had mentioned your name, and obviously I knew already, so I was like, couldn't believe it. I was like, there's no way it's your brother. But then see, as soon as he said it, I can see the similarities. Yeah. Even the voice, even the voice is, do you know what I mean? Yes, because my voice, obviously, it's a mix of like, uh, we moved to Wales when I was a kid, then we yeah. moved to Manchester. Uh, said, uh, so me and him are the only two people who yeah, have Yeah, exactly, exact, that's what I mean. Know? As soon as he said it, I was like, fuck, now I can see it. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Of course. Like, when I was living over in Spain, I lost a load of weight. They're starting to look a lot like him too. <laughs> down. See, moving back over here, just put on loads of weight, bro. Uh, it's, well, it's a different lifestyle over there, isn't it? It's like yeah, you're out course. every day in the sun and all. It's, so are you born and raised in Carrick? Ah, uh, yeah, from Carrick, yeah. See, so... Um, you know, yeah, because I remember him telling me, I think you told Adam that you were from Carrick. Yeah, yeah. And then he went, wow, my brother and my mum. Yeah, mom yeah, I think Carrick. I am yeah, pretty sure. I know by this point, I was obviously had a few drinks, so, my, yeah. but it was... Um, so, um, I love Carrick, Fergus. Yeah. I love it now. Me too. So, I, I like I say, I'm originally from Rathcool. Yeah. Then we moved away. Oh, and right. then moved back when I was like 16 for a year, but we moved all around the place, went like Ballymena, Clock Mills, Bangor, everywhere. Aye, you've experienced everywhere. And then we moved back to England again, mm -hmm. but then when we moved back this time, we went to um, Carrick Fergus. Yeah. But I love Carrick, bro. So what was Aye, it like too. growing up in Carrick for you? Honestly, unreal. A uh, load of nice people, and it's a good, good enough area. It's close to everything, so it's close yeah. to Belfast. Anything you'd want to do, Carrick has most things. So growing up, you were able to keep busy. Well, the parkour helped, definitely helped um, so make it last So did you start born. doing parkour in Carrick? Yeah, literally just through you on that. jumping around the castle? Literally, yeah, yeah, just <laughs> jumping around the castle, like from seeing online videos and thinking, fuck, I want to go out and do that. Like literally, not, that's basically what it was. Someone who 
you know, growing up, always wanted to take risks. You know what it's like when you're young, you always want to do the next scary thing. See, my brother was like that when it yeah, comes to yeah. jumping and all. Yeah. If there was something that needed jumped, he but would But you can do it. do it in different ways. Like, it doesn't have to be parkour. It could be anything. But yeah. I feel like as a kid, you're naturally drawn towards things that are a wee bit, you know, you think, oh, I shouldn't do this. Of course. But you want to. Yeah. But it's, it's, do you know what I mean? I think it's... Um, so- so can you onion. remember the first time that you'd done parkour well, Yeah, well, I actually did a backflip before I did, even knew what parkour was. So I was already without knowing. Because obviously parkour, I don't know if you remember, was like a fad back in like... It boomed on the internet basically when YouTube and stuff blew up. It would have been then, then people knew about it. But back then, like I didn't even know what it was. As I said, I was just running, jumping off things, climbing trees, like trying to backflip off like little walls and stuff. So... And the first time I was doing it, I must have been like nine, ten, maybe. Yeah. Just like, and I didn't even know what it was. It was just basically, yeah, well, just having just fun. Gymnastics though, That's it. it. Like, yeah, you're just like, we just to just, just say like you're doing stunts. Do you yeah. know what I mean? You're going out and you're trying to jump from eye one wall yeah. to another wall. So to me, parkour is like, it's like um, gymnastics unleashed, yeah. unleashed exactly, into yeah. the real world. That's it. Literally, like it's just gymnastics in an urban environment, and you can just do whatever you want. Yeah, so it's, it's like, like illegal gymnastics. Exactly. Literally, so there's no rules, there's nothing. That's yeah. probably the best. Same as any urban sport, like skateboarding, BMX, and whatever. Yeah, it's all the same. It's, it's good crack. And so you I don't do what mind you want. it, but I don't mind it. But then this is the it's the 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 risk of life. So when was the yeah. first time you ever done something where if you fail, you're dead? Probably, like, not even that old, I'd say, realistically, probably by the time I was, like, maybe I got, like, progressed pretty quickly. And then I think I was doing, because I was trying to replicate people jumping roof gaps uh, I seen online, so I was probably, like, 12, 13, already doing stuff that was, like... You were jumping rooftops at 13? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super young. <laughs> <That's fucking laughs> yeah, bad, super young. I remember my mate one time uh, in Manchester, my mate... He, uh, he lived with his granny, and his granny lived in this big, massive, massive old yeah. house that had like four or five stories. Unreal. And um, the police came to arrest him, and he was staying in yeah. the top in the attic, and he Just snuck out, out the window. and crawled along the roof. <laughs> but I remember watching him, and I was thinking, if he Fuck falls, yeah. he's dead. And then he climbed down the neighbor's drain pipe, and then got away, you know. But it's, it's dangerous, but it's this thing, like, it's not as dangerous as what you would imagine. Because if you see the videos from an outside perspective, you think, oh, he just grabbed his phone and he did that. But you know what I mean? Same as anything. You, you build it up. You start small and then you get bigger, bigger, bigger. I'll never, you never try something unless you're fully yeah. confident that you're going to be... Same as anything in life. You're not going to go for something and you th- unless you think, right, this is going to work. So it's not as crazy as you would... Yeah, so you have uh, you have to have a hundred percent confidence. I'd say it's, it's commitment. Like you're committed to to whatever it is. Yeah, the adrenaline helps, obviously, but you're committed to doing it. You know, like the chance of something going wrong is actually really slim. Yeah. So it's, yeah, because see, when I'm never doing anything like where I have to like yeah. keep my balance, uh, it's hard not to think of the the, the negative. Think, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, obviously, but that's that's good because that you're, that's your brain working. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's, you're assessing. You're naturally as a human, you're gonna assess the danger. Yeah. If some anything you're doing, you look, you think, oh, I'm gonna jump off this ledge into water. Yeah. Even that, you think, oh fuck, but there might be rocks at the bottom. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So you're always assessing the danger, but then it's about yeah being able to do that to the point where it is safe. Yeah. Steep, bro. <laughs> See, I like look look at the size of me, but I don't do parkour. <laughs> I've never been. Air's ne- air's never too late. I know. Listen, I'll tell you this, right? This is, this is, I'll never forget this. See, when I was um, I was about sixteen, right, in Manchester, and some of my mates like threw eggs. Yeah, yeah. This fellas oh, went there or something. We all did. And then next thing, um, he came charging out. These fellas who were in the house came charging out, and um. Started chasing us, yeah, and we all ran in the alleyway, and um, we got stuck in the dead end of an alleyway, and the mate was dead thin and skinny, yeah. and he climbed straight up, up the wall, yeah, yeah, he climbed. There was like a fence, yeah. like you know, like but he said it's all good, bro. I'll climb up the fence, hop over the wall, yeah. and unlock well, the door, unlock the, the gate, the gate I open the gate. So I was like, okay, go, because yeah, there's yeah, like yeah. ten of them all uh, chasing us. So he scaled up the wall and bounced over. And then he just said to me, bro, it's padlocked. And he just it's bailed? Padlocked. Did he bail? No, he didn't. He just oh, said, it's padlocked. Days. And he says, you have to go over. You have uh, to you get have over. To. 
And then I was like, I can't, Grandma. Yeah. I says, I can't. And he goes, you can't. But you have to try. The next thing I just heard, I heard them at the and top you're like, of the right, I'm going. So they were about 150 metres away uh, from me. You know what I've done, bro? I've done it. Yeah, exactly. Because you, you had to, do you know what I mean? Yeah. There is no other option. Like, you be, you surprise yourself with things like that. Yeah, I never just... forget that. I just scaled up the wall. I just thought, am I going to get cornered well, here spy, and battered spy, by 10 Fight or mass? flight, adrenaline. Like, yeah. you're going to do it or you're not. And yeah. um, you're better to give it a go. And especially in that scenario, yeah. you're better to give it a go than... Than, than not, do you know what I mean? Yeah, you would have just then just got caught. But to do that as a... Did you ever do any professional gymnastics? No, I actually didn't. Um, no. So just you fucking about now? Literally, thought. yeah, yeah. I, my mum put me in gymnastics when I was really, really young. Like, maybe like three, four, five. But it's not even gymnastics at that point. It's just like fundamental skills. Like, you're just like rolling all on the floor and stuff. And then it was only recreational and like a leisure centre. So it wasn't that a proper gymnastics club. And then basically I was just like, I was too misbehaved. Like I didn't want to listen to what they were telling me. I was like, but I want to do this and I want to do this and I want to jump here and here. And then eventually you got out of it because yeah. I just want to do my own thing. And then, and then do you do it? Did you ever, did you do it without a camera? Yeah, oh. at the start, at the start. Like as I said, yeah, at the start we did it without a camera. And like literally some of the gnarliest feels and stuff like are just in my mind because back then yeah phone you was like phone quality back then was terrible yeah. even if you had a film that the video was do you know what I mean it yeah. was, was toast but yeah, so before you started it up as like a hobby then it was a hobby yeah it was just like something to do literally up at the weekends or whatever like during the day with your mates you'd go out and be like oh do you want to do some parkour yeah and we'd go out and try and just find big stuff to jump off so it's as simple yeah. as that like and then you said film each other and, and then yeah eventually then we'd start filming each other and we'd see other people's videos on the internet and think oh well we could make these videos and we could do the same thing so Sick. see if we could get any traction from it and then Sick. eventually through that that was basically it and then the sport evolved Right. So the sport got same as like all extreme sports came up, like you know what I mean. So you're it's, calling it a sport. Yeah, so, so it's reckon, explain it's, that to me because sport have rules and regulations. Yeah, well, so parkour. This sounds like there's no. Yeah, one. yeah, well, just it, don't die. It, it started like that. Yeah, it's, it started basically exactly like that. But now parkour was recognised an official sport in the UK. Um, wow, I didn't know by this. the government in 2016. Right. I think it was. So, yeah, it's not far off being in the Olympics now. And what would you do in the park? So there, we do, so I already judge, so I've just come back from America, and as I said, yeah, I'm going back um, uh, on Sunday, and that's to judge a USA Parkour Cup. So there's competition, so it would be like, if you've ever watched, I don't know, skateboarding or a snowboarding competition or anything like that, uh, BMX, anything, so you, they'll give you a course, you know, maybe some bars to swing on, some ledges, and it's basically like, imagine a like gymnastic... Like wipeout or something? Yeah, no, well, no, imagine a gymnastics routine. So, you know, in the, in the Olympics, for example, they've got a routine, and they'll do all these moves in a sequence that they've practiced. Yeah. And then they'll get scored on that. So it's basically, it's a very similar thing. Like, you'll have a setup, you'll have X amount of time to practice. I don't understand the difference between that and gymnastics. So that, that, that's, the, that's why I think it'll be, it's going to be in the Olympics, because it's able to fall under the category of gymnastics. So FIG, Gymnastics Federation, will bring it in as a gymnastic discipline. Right. Yeah. So, so it, it, is, it is very, the way, and the way they're scoring it. Like, on the street, it's... Not similar gymnastics, but the way they want it to be in competition is exactly like gymnastics. So the only way I think I think a parkour competition should be is literally like total white. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean that's what, what that's what, that's what Ninja Warrior, yeah. Ninja Warrior. But that's what people want to see, like realistically, that is the competition with parkour. People love to watch because it's the gnarliest, like you just go for it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's like as a spectator sport, like that's why Ninja Warrior does so well. Because yeah. you just want to see people try really hard obstacles. Would you and not audition for that? Nah, it's like I get ca nah. I get casting for it. Well, my mate who I was actually just working there with last week, he won the UK one. No, he did. Do you want to know the maddest part? You Go don't. On. You don't win anything. Oh, you don't. There's no. You prize. win. You win no money. Wow. So he won the UK Ninja Warrior. He's actually the only person. Tim Champion, his name is, and he's the only person to ever complete the full course and get I right to the end. I, I don't know. And if he I didn't even win. Like and he didn't win anything. I don't know even if I like. I think I like that. It's just like. You, you, you win the title, I'm a fucking, I'm the yeah. Ninja Warrior. It's sick, like, it's I'm sick. I'm the Ninja Warrior, yeah, I completed like the course, that, didn't then, I? I know what you mean. But how you much do you think you win in other countries, like America? Of course, America, obviously. they win, like, 750k. Yeah. You don't win nothing. You win nothing. A belt, even. Ninja Warrior I, belt. I think you got a trophy, yeah. yeah. It. But it's still epic. It's still, it's still a cool achievement. But of course highest. it is. No, of course it is. But, I mean... It's a bit mad, that. Do you think you could complete it? No, de honestly, no. Why not? I'm very good at jumping, like at parkour, jumping. But it's the, all the it's, other... Um, it's more like, um, imagine like a rock climber. It's like calisthenic, body weight strength, like little tiny 
finger holds and being really strong like that. Yeah. Mine, mine's more like jumping. Yes, so uh, that's what it's going to You never, my, one of my mates in Manchester, he does calisthenics. Yeah, yeah. It's but it's mind blowing. He just like, he, he crazy, does mate. human flagging. Yeah, mate, it's crazy. Yeah. I can do a human flag, probably not as well as, as your mate. Yeah. But I can do it. Yeah, but he it's, does steps and all. Yeah, yeah. It's seriously yeah. like serious strength. And that's, that's like a branch off now. Because calisthenics now is only booming. Yeah. It gets started in the last, yeah. Uh, five to ten years now as well and it's it's booming but it's the same thing as parkour it's all about body weight and you know you're keeping fit doing something that is fun yeah so it doesn't even feel like a workout because you're you enjoy it yeah i know what you're saying that's the that's the best that's yeah. why i'm still the way i'm <laughs> still going into the gym and now um mean, i hate the gym i oh, hate going to the gym stop. i just i can't stay and like see if i go to the gym i can't stay interested like yeah i just can't Lifting I, weights and stuff, like, it's just not fun. I don't know. I don't enjoy it. Yeah. So it's like, See, I love sparring and all. Yeah, but that's, that's what I'm saying. Because you're not, you're not yes. even thinking about, like, you're moving about and you're not thinking about, oh, I'm exercising. You're just, you're in the, you're in the mind, you're focusing on, the, on what you're doing, the movements, and you're enjoying it. Yeah. So it's not just like, oh, I'm going to go and do this many reps of this movement in the gym. Because it's not enjoyable. Yeah. Obviously, certain types of people obviously love that, um, love training in the gym, but I just can't. I, I can't do it. No, no. I know what you're saying, bro. I tried. There's a um, Carl Frampton's personal trainer there. He said yeah. to me last year, I can come and, you know, use his um, yeah. fitness studio whenever I want. And I went about four times, and then that was me. Yeah, it's hard I, to get into it. Yeah, like. then I seen him there a few weeks ago. I says, I still tell everyone you're my personal trainer. Uh, I'm giving you a bad name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, listen, the door's always open. Yeah, yeah. It's Jay Momentum Fitness. He's a legend. Have it you ever sounds been, familiar, actually. And he's got a recovery unit too, the recovery hub. I think I might follow it on Instagram. Maybe. Really good, and he yeah. has infrared saunas. Uh, I've done, I've not done his one, but I've done them before. Yeah, the I'm sure you sauna. tried it, did you? Yeah, of course. Unbelievable. Sat in there for about an hour. Yeah, unbelievable. And he's got the he's got the iPads, and so you can listen to your uh, own music in unbelievable. there. Unbelievable. Have brilliant. you ever did one of them cryo chambers? What's the, the cryotherapy? Cry? What's the? Say, so, do you know one of them ice chambers you go in? Right, well, I don't know, but he's got ice. He bath. probably has that. It's he's the same. The it's bath. the same. It's like a glorified fancy ice bath. It's yeah, basically the same thing. Well, there is an ice bath water. You just get yeah. into the ice cold yeah, water. Yeah, well, the other one, the one I'm talking about, it's like a chamber you go in and like blows cold air on you. Oh, so there's no water. There's no water now. No, he doesn't have that. But it's basically to... it's the same. It does the same thing to you. Do you know what I mean? That you're just, you're just uncomfortably cold for. Yeah. However much time. You, do you do any of that cold water? Yeah, therapy? yeah, I do the cold water dipping and stuff, and it's I, I like that. Cause yeah, it's me and my girl does that too. We've got into that. We yeah. like going to swim. Bit of waterfall, perfect spot. Oh, we've done yeah. one of a few times. That's it. That is the perfect spot for yeah. it. And because it's, it's actually a fresh stream or whatever it is, it's actually it's lovely. It's incredible. You feel it's just you feel mentally you feel amazing. Yeah, you know my, it's like after. It. Yeah, so my uncle who died last year. He brought us to Glenow when we were mm. wee kids, and he yeah. said it's a magical place called Tarzan's Diving Hole. <laughs> and it we, looks like it. Yeah, and we believed it. Ah, it looks and then like I'd it. never, never been back. And then uh, when I moved to, when I was went to Carrick last year, my girl said, "I'll bring you up to a waterfall," uh, and all my childhood memories yeah, came back. I was like, this is Tarzan's uh, Diving uh, Hole. It's a place you wouldn't forget. Do you <laughs> yeah, know what I mean? Like, especially in, in Northern Ireland, you wouldn't get many places. And you see in the like summer, that. bro. See in the summer. It's unbelievable, bro. We spent a full day there. It's like it's a water park. Yeah, it's unbelievable. There's all different levels of different. Yeah. Exactly. And waterfalls, and you just spend the whole day. Man, it's actually lovely. Like, uh, yeah, not nice day. It's a nice area anyway to sit in. It's nice and quiet. Usually, even though it is nice, there's not too many people about, which yeah. is makes it even better. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. You've seen Northern Ireland, Ireland uh, in uh, in whole. It's one of the most beautiful places. In Man, the whole it is, world. yeah, hundred percent. It truly is. Yeah. We go to Browns Bay all the time. Well, I was I literally went for a walk with my girlfriend there two days ago. Yeah. In Browns Bay. Unreal, yeah, in Browns yeah. Bay. We were there swimming. Can we go swim, yes. Yeah, I love it. I love it. We were doing it in the winter even. A couple of, about three, four weeks ago, we went swimming there and it was starting to go dark. And then it was like all oh, the rain clouds came. We yeah. said, let's go swimming. And it started raining. And right, so I, uh, it's nice. I know I've been, I've been swimming not in Browns Bay, but in other countries and stuff when it's raining. It's actually lovely. Yeah. Even a swim pool when it's raining, it's nice. Yeah, I've always loved cold water th- it is yeah it's just it's just that feeling of it it's so there's even studies about it now literally because it gets the just endorphins in your mind it's just like crazy like yeah. you know how it feels like at the start it's always the same when you come to water you're thinking oh i don't really want to and then yeah. as soon as you get in you get out you just feel and you're drying yourself off you, you just feel, feel amazing. amazing i know i always say that to, um, it's a natural buzz it's like yeah. drinking three coffees do you know yes. what i mean it's yeah, like it is. It's, i always say that to my girl see every time we go She's like, right, let's go in. And I'm like, oh, shit. I know, you don't want to. I'm the same. Man, I'm no. the exact same. And then as soon as I'm in, I'm like, wow. Yeah, yeah. You know, as soon as you dip your head under. That's it, yeah. And it's like, because your body's all scared, oh, so yeah. don't do it. And as soon as you do it, it's like, all right, let's have it. It is so funny how it's like, that, cause I'm the exact same as you. Like, every yeah. time I go to do it with my mates or whoever I'm with, I'm yeah. like, oh, 
I, do, I, I don't know, I might just dip my feet in. And then as soon as they're like, no, nah, I get your head under. And then as soon as you, yeah, you just run in. Yeah. Get, get, the faster you get your head under, the better. A hundred percent, it's true. As soon as you get your body shot. it's shocked. going up over the bollocks. Yeah, too. yeah, man. Oh, I hate if that. you're walking slow, that's a mistake, yeah, I think. Because it 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 as you said, you walk in, it gets up, up yeah. and you just think, oh, yeah, you could deep. easily just get out. But it's deep. But you know what I noticed too? See, especially in like, um, like Ireland and, and stuff and like colder countries. See, when the sun's out, it shows you even more how cold the water is. Yeah. So like we would go in the winter and yeah. it's quite cold anyway. Oh. When you go into the sea then it's not as bad yeah, because yeah, yeah. you're already cold. I know what you mean, yeah. You know, whereas when you're roasting and then you get into yeah. the freezing Well, that's the thing, sea. our water never gets warm. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't matter how warm it yeah. is outside, the water is never warm. Yeah. So it's a, yeah, it definitely shows you, but that, that makes it better then in the, in the benefits of it. Like, because yeah, obviously does. the shock's better. It does. If you go in the sea, obviously in Spain or wherever you are, like in the summer, like, yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's it's not even that refreshing. Yeah. Like uh, coming out and then you're just roasting again. Yeah, I love it, bro. I, I I'm I'm obsessed with it. You know, you know, like the sea and swimming yeah. and all that shit. You know, I do love it, and I think it's um especially the cold water therapy. Yeah. Like there is definitely something in it because every time I do it, I feel alive. Then yeah, you know, yeah. it's like back to reality. Exactly. Or yeah, it clears your mind. Yeah. I feel like you come out feeling really just clear headed and just like motivated. Yeah. I feel like literal motivation from it. Like after it, I'm even just thinking of all I days in my mind thinking oh, i'm gonna do this this and this yeah and that's course. just off like a natural buzz yeah like a it's natural buzz shit. of being in there yeah so you've done all your parkour you were just doing it as a hobby and then you started filming making the yeah. videos when did you like start getting like um because you've got like over a hundred thousand followers on the yeah. insta yeah so like how did all that happen and all um so literally ah, yeah just continuing the story i Posted online, started getting better as it was trying to do crazier and crazier. Not even crazier, just like more advanced stuff, yeah. more flips, more twists, yeah. whatever. Learned a bit more. Yeah. And then it was really lucky because the age I am, I'm 25. So it was like when social media was just starting to boom. Um, I remember what it was, was you started being able to post Instagram videos instead of just pictures. So right. it was like 2013, yes. I'm, uh, you probably remember as well. Yeah, it was only um, 15 second clips or something. Exactly, first, yeah, it? yeah, yeah. So it was yeah. only tiny clips at the start and um, before that, just photos. So when that happened, it was like, right, I'm going to start posting and just start posting little bits. Nothing really happened. I um, wasn't pushing it very hard. I did whatever. Got to about 16, 17. And that's when it was properly, they started doing longer videos and like I've seen other people doing well off social media. So obviously that's when, yeah. It started to boom to the point where you could get jobs from it and people were doing paid ads and stuff. Right. So then I just thought I want to keep doing this. What well, mainly because I love doing it. Yeah. Like it wasn't even ju it wasn't just about the social media. It was because I wanted to get better. Of course. And I watched all the videos on YouTube and whatever of other people that I looked up to, and I wanted yeah. to be as good as them. Sick. So I just kept training. And, kept... and then did you get? So what was your? Did you get jobs off it? Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. So yeah. what was your first was job? Paid sponsors. You well, you I, co I coached and stuff, and then. Eventually, what was what, what age would have been? I would have been about eighteen or nineteen. I got on the uh, Modus Project, which is like a professional parkour sponsor. Right. So I got onto that. They then gave me a sponsorship, which then paid for me to go and travel to like events and stuff, and meet Sick. all the other people, like meet the people Sick. that I've been looking up to. Wow. So it's like it's like it with yourself. You know, you go and you yeah. record with people that you've oh, always yeah, yeah, you've course. been inspired with forever. So it was just like. That was the point where I was like, right, I can actually do something with this. And then, yeah, I just went on to do, I did some stunt stuff, performances, a load of Instagram work with different big companies and stuff like that. So it's been, I've been really lucky, really blessed to just, yeah, being healthy enough to keep doing it. Of course, thank God. Bro, yeah, that's, that's it. Yeah, yeah. And just then what happened then? So, and then I seen it on your Insta now. It says, yeah. um, Britain's got talent. Yeah, so, yeah. So talk to me, bro. So what happened there? I, did, I don't watch the TV. Yeah, yeah, I mean, don't don't worry. I haven't watched it since I was a kid either. Yeah, like, I remember. Is Simon Carl still, still on? Still on it, yeah. So still you're done it in front of Simon or not? Sh shook his hand three days ago. Nah, yeah. did you, bro? So talk to me. How did yeah. all this happen? Where so did it, how did that happen? I about? work with two other professional parkour guys, um, Travis um, and Ed, who are from England. And we've been doing loads of jobs together, performances and stuff. We actually were working for League of Legends, which is like the world's biggest online game. So we're doing stuff with them. And then Ed had met, so one of the guys I work with had met one of the producers and he had then got in contact yeah. asking, you know, saying we would be great to come on and do something on Britain's Got Talent. So they put the feeler out there to see if we were interested. And then we just thought, do you know what I mean? Well, we've got, it just gets parkour into the mainstream more. So just go for it. Sick. So just, that was basically it. And then got somehow went, did no practice, made the performance for the audition at seven o'clock in the morning on a load of lines in the car park, and then what? did it. Somehow got four yeses, 
somehow. So you went and you just fucking Met raw dog improvised. That's, that's the only way I can that's describe it. Yeah. When you go in, you just have that's to. That's the only way I can describe it. Like raw dog, because usually you can't practice because we didn't have the stage. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Before, so they just built us some bars. And then we just went in, went for it, and then couldn't believe it. Like, see, when we finished the performance, and like Simon stood up and started clapping in the audition, I couldn't. I, Did I, I honestly couldn't believe it. Is I was this like, out yet? Yeah, Can't, this is out, yeah. I have to go and watch it, bro. Yeah, Can't but I just, yeah, it was one of them things because parkour is a very weird niche thing. So it's like, um, it's hard to know how people are going to react to that. So we, didn't, we don't think it's that impressive because we're obviously doing it all the time. Of course. So to get that reaction from all the judges and they all had such positive things to say yeah. we couldn't believe it and then to get the four yeses after like and then go to the set we went to the semi-final and then that was what three days ago four days ago i did the semi-final you just got to the semis yeah which is which, which is crazy just because it's parkour like i didn't think that of course. people would find like parkour that relatable because you know what it's like with them talent shows there needs to be like an emotional for people to vote or people to get invested in the act i feel like there needs to be something emotional but you know, usually I don't like to say it, but it's usually a sob story. Yes, do you know what obviously. I mean? Of, like, Everything in the Britain's Got Talent. Exactly, because it makes good TV. So you I don't, should have I just don't... said my hamster died yeah. when I was a kid, and uh, yeah. that's why I started parkour. I should have just said, should have just t- said straight up, "Oh, I'm from Belfast." That is the sob story. Yeah, that's. <laughs> <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> But no, it's, a, it's a, uh, the, to, for to make it a semi final was crazy because yeah. like obviously yeah, parkour is such a niche weird thing that it was like. And then, yeah, we were just happy to get the performance and did the... So did you have to get through all the different heats? Yeah, so we went. We just went from the audition straight to the semi-final. So straight, is that how it works? Well, they audition, choose... Semi-final? Yeah, so they put audition and then even if you get the four yeses, yeah. they go back and review all the footage and all the performances. So you can get four yeses at the audition but still not go to the semi-finals. So they choose the best it was 40 acts out of like hundreds yes. they choose the best four, 40 acts they think will make good TV obviously yep. and then that's it and then you, they go to the semi-final so when we got the call they're like yeah you're going to the semi-final so how many others was in the semis then? well in our and it was in each episode so it was four episodes with eight acts each so eight yeah. acts and then how many get through to I the think final I that was it, it may, only like per night only two we did eight with us and only yeah. two get through two get through two get through and one, one is judges and then one is a vote like a public vote. I'm with you. And did you get put? I don't. Uh, am I thinking of X Factor or Britain's Got Talent? Do you get paired with one of the judges or something? Is no, that, that would be, I that think that's X Factor. X Factor. Yeah. Or maybe they do that in the final of Britain's Got Who Talent. Who are all the sure. judges? Simon Cowell. Simon, Amanda Holden. Um, is Louis still Alicia there? Dixon and Bruno. No, Bruno? Louis's not there. I didn't Bruno meet, Mars? No, Bruno from. I wish it was Bruno Mars, but it's not, it's not some guy from Strictly. I actually didn't know him, but apparently he's. You like mean a, Ali G? No, no. Sasha Br- Baron Cohen? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> who's, who's That's an outrageous film though, speaking I about wouldn't it. watch Bruno. Yeah. I loved Ali G. Ali yeah. G was the best. Bruno was the downfall. I bet it was the downfall. Bruno was the downfall. I watched it and I was like, bear in mind, I was young when I watched it. And it yeah. did, it, I'm not going to lie, like, it just, after I remember watching it, just thinking that was like... Ali G is one of the greatest characters oh, 100%, of all time. 100%. Then uh, I didn't really like Borat as much. Everyone seemed to like Borat. I, just, I thought Borat was decent. He was all right. It yeah. was okay. Some of it was funny, but it was yeah, just a bit... Yeah. And then Bruno was just... Just like, oh, yeah. shut the fuck up. Couldn't Bruno was a it. money grab. Yeah, I couldn't even watch it. It wasn't. It I wasn't. remember um, on one of the podcasts, it was saying, I think Eminem, you know, leans yeah. Bruno's type of style way. That's and just... then someone sent me a, a clip. Did you see Eminem sat at some award show and Bruno comes oh, down what? and sticks his ass in his face? Have you not seen that? Nah, but yeah. I, can, I can see that being a thing. Exactly. But I that's can... like, yeah, he I, he made a new Borat. Did you watch that on Amazon? No. He released it as an Amazon film. There was a new one there that was in the lockdown. It must have been 2021, maybe. Mate, it was, just, it was awful. Yeah, I can imagine. It was awful. I can imagine... Uh, Ali G was the best. Did you see it when Ali G came to Northern, Northern Ireland? Of course you did. Ali G in Northern Ireland. Of course you did. Yeah, and he's talking to the politicians. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, it's the best. And when he's talking to the Orange Lodge. And yeah, he goes, yeah, yeah. So uh, what's it like being a Catholic? Yeah. In head of the uh, Protestant organization. Oh, he smashed it, bro. But that's it, because like, he did smash it, because everyone found that funny. Yeah, he was Do you know what I mean? Day. Everyone, like, obviously that's yeah. a con- controversial subject, but everyone loved it. Yeah, of like, course. Everyone loved it. And it was uh, amazing because, like, one, no one ever questioned. He said he was black, so everyone just questioned. Yeah. Uh, everyone just believed he was yeah. black. You know, like a mixed race kid yeah. or something. And um, he done the boyak yeah. and all that. You with me? He was the best. 
he interviewed everyone. Didn't well, that's they? the golden era of like ID in the house as well. It's just like yeah. he did that Two Brothers Grimsby more recently, and it was actually a good film. Yeah, yeah, it was actually it's, funny. Yeah, I haven't, I can't remember. I didn't really pay it much mind. Yeah, didn't pay it too much mind. It's more of a mainstream, more like I'll tell you one that I watched film. that I really liked, The yeah. Dictator. Oh yeah, I've I've have seen it, but when that came out, it was must have been twelve years ago now. Yeah, that's serious. The dictator's but heavy. I, yeah, yeah, that he, he is a phenomenal actor. Yeah, he's cool. I like the political things. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And like you said, you know, the Ali G, he really like captivated. Yeah. The, the it was like it was the first time as well. There was a real like immaturity in the youth. Yeah. And he's seen that then, and then capitalized. Yeah, he just on got it. in that market of like there was no one doing what he's yeah, doing. Dressed up in the fubu. That, that's what I mean. That's really like ah, oh, he just yeah. But the only thing you could say is comparable to that is like you know remember Phone Jacker? Yeah. Phone jacker and face yeah. jacker. I don't even think that was as I didn't. It's not as good, but I didn't get into it. I can just remember the start of the Ali G show, and I remember the spliff in his hand. They would yeah, go, yeah, 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 with the one hand, and I remember and roll it, no, my man. He was too cool, Ali G, yeah. and he was a one-off, unique. You oh, know? no one will be like him. Yeah, no one could replicate that comedy again, especially not in this day and age. Yeah, it's true, bro. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> so, so did you meet Sam? Did you just shake Simon? Well, oh, no, hand, we, we, yeah, it wasn't too much like speaking. Aunt and Deck, met Aunt and Deck. They were really nice, lovely, exactly how you would imagine them to be. Did you see um, Deck at the King's coronation? No. Did you not see it? The king as well. Jimmy Savile's best mate. Aye, uh, yeah. Fuck's sake. We all disgusting. know about that. But anyway, yeah, so he was there at um, Jimmy Savile's best mate's fucking coronation. And Deck looks like he sniffed out of his fucking tree. Oh, sure, he was it? in He was in there. He's like that with his eyes. Have you not well, seen We've been him? to rehab and all, sure. Has he, he? Well, yeah, he'd been to rehab and all. And, um, so maybe. Yeah. It's, not, it's definitely not impossible. Aunt, Aunt Fail went on that episode I was in at the start. He probably stacked it onto his back at the start. He tried to slide on the stage and like fell right in his back. Deep, in front of everyone, I on TV. Mad. Bro. <laughs> but yeah, they were they were lovely, like how you would imagine them to be. But I didn't speak to obviously the judges and stuff. You not really get to. Do you not get really the interact? We did like obviously when we finished the semi final there. Um, we're standing at the front, like so we finished right in front of him and Simon stuck his hand up and was like giving us high fives and shaking the hand and all and yeah. loving it and then the feedback they gave us was all amazing was like, it, bro? it was, was amazing yeah it's like they all no one said it was all positive I like, so like I always used to like Simon man but it's just recently nowadays he looks all Botoxed and all out of his head he, lo- he? he, he does like that's weird to me yeah. well so he got that amount of money you know you probably yeah. just pay I think that's a lot of same with a lot of celebrities. Bro, I'm telling you this now. I don't give a single fuck if I had fucking 10 billion, right? Yeah. I'd never say... I don't say, want stuff injected into exactly. my face. Exactly. I'd yeah, never yeah. say, you know what, now I am so fucking rich. I know. I might go to the doctor's here and get them to inject them on my face. But most of them end up looking worse. Exactly. Than they did, because it's not natural. You exactly. just look weird. I'd rather go old and wrinkly, to be honest. 100%, yeah, than bro. Than look artificial. Yeah, exactly. It doesn't make any sense to me. I remember, I call them like like Stallone's mum or yeah, something. You yeah. know what I mean? Just like It's a, scary. And it just keeps getting worse and worse and worse. It's scary. Yeah, so it is. It's scary, but that's, that's society in general, I suppose. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? People have a bit of money. Well, it's just they want to, I suppose, if maybe because they're in the public eye for so long, they think, oh, I need to look. I've seen that new Scream film, you know, Courtney Cox from Friends? Yes. She looks scary. She's had loads of work done. That new yeah. Scream film came out the other month there. It's, that's a perfect example. It's, yeah. Ridiculous, like, why would, well, I don't know. It would scare your children if you had that face. No, I know, bro, <laughs> it is. And then even the ones that don't look as bad, you can still tell. Sure, Eminem. Yeah, Eminem wait, I think, I don't, yeah, he does look like it. He did an interview recently. Who did he do an interview with? I watched a little bit of it, didn't even watch the whole thing. He was on, no, he was on um, Mike Tyson Top Boxing. Yeah, was he? Yeah. Second, I didn't see it? that one. He Maybe. was on a little bit of it. Yeah. There's no way anyone that says he hasn't had Botox is tripping their yeah, head. He his must nose have. even looks all fucking yeah. rectangular and all. It's madness, brother, you know? It is madness. So um you done the Britain's Got Talent, you got yeah. uh, and that was just three days ago. Yeah, what days no, Four days ago, four days ago, yeah. Four days ago, and that was the semi final. Semi final, yeah. Sick, bro. And is that hard and everything? That's hard, yeah, yeah, it's hard, it's good. The, 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 went, the guy, um, it's mad, because obviously you didn't watch any of it. I didn't watch any of the rest yeah. of it, actually, to be honest, either. Yeah. But a guy, one, just taking high visits off. What do you mean? It's, it's, I can't even explain it. You need to watch it. Like I'm going to have to he watch just, it. He just, like... Have you watched any of it this year? It's a comedy act. 
Yeah, yeah, I didn't watch. I was the same. I don't. I wouldn't watch the show, and I, I haven't watched any of the rest of it. I've only seen his audition. No, I'm gonna watch it now. I'm now yeah, but he's... Now I know you're on it. No, I'm going through it to yeah. watch it. All. I just watched my own one, and that that was it. Basically, you know, yeah. so, it sounds stupid, but nah, does yeah. I used to like Britain's Got Talent because there's all mad weight yeah, things exactly. on it. Yeah, exactly. It's different. It's always the... the ones that are bad. That's what you really engage yeah. with. Like you engage with the ones that are hilariously stupid and yeah. bad. Do you know what I mean? Or like surprisingly good. Yeah. But it's all the way different. I remember the way the girl with the dog. Yeah. She won it. Did she win it one I year? Th- I think I know who you're talking about. I'm not sure if she won, but she definitely got to the final. What's her name? I can't remember. I can't remember. I just but remember she, the got, wee... she at least got to the She might have won, but she definitely the wee got to the final. The dog was brilliant. The yeah. wee dog would just do like loads of mad wee tricks. Right. And I'll say, I love that That's shit. what you want to see. You want to see different things on it. As yeah. I said, that's probably why they got in contact with us about parkour, because yeah. it's something different. Of course it's it is. It's not just because... I think if you didn't reach out to some people, it would be just singers and dancers. Yeah. Which is still amazing. It's always amazing to see some hear someone sing really well, but yeah, it's you want different. Yeah, the parkour thing, bro. It's just fascinating to me because it's like you you enjoy risking your life. You know, but yeah. like you said, though, you feel yeah. total like. It's cool, you know, I don't feel like that. I'm totally Yeah, I don't feel like it. that. I never feel like, oh, I'm risking my life. It's not the way I feel. It's like, it's hard to explain. I feel like it, like in life, it's, I, the way I am anyway, it sounds crazy. And I've said this to some of my friends, like, see if something makes me a little bit anxious, I, I kind of like it. Yeah. Because it's like pushing past that. Yes. The way you feel after. You feel alive. You know what I mean? I'm sure, I know, you, I'm I'm sure you can relate to it. Of like, course. Anything exactly you feel, like if you do a show or you do whatever, whatever you're doing, you're always nervous before it. Always, but it's the feeling after. You always feel the same. You think, oh, you know what? That was great. It wasn't even that bad. I had mm-hmm. a good time. Mm-hmm. So I like like the feeling of it after. It's like, I like things that make me anxious in the moment, and then you're really present. Yeah. And, and then you've done it, and yeah, then you feel great. The, of course. So you've done it. Have you ever had any bad injuries? No, I've never broken. Luckily, never. Thank God. I don't like say, don't like saying it because nah, I feel like word, <laughs> yeah, that's good. I don't well. like uh, no, fingers good. crossed. I hate I hate saying it, but I no, never broke any bones. Or... I mean, I've seen. Funny enough, the other day I seen. A video on YouTube. There was like a fella who was stood on the. There was a wall. Then there was a wee gap. Yeah. And he stood on the ledge. I know him, Dom. Do, it's I don't my, know. It's one of my friends. He does a backflip. But yeah, then and he falls goes. Down. But he does it on purpose. He go, he's trying to go down the gap and like. Sl- he's my friend, Dom. I was do with you know him, him? I was with him in Morocco like three weeks ago. Right. So he goes. He was at a competition. I was at. He you flip into a gap and he's trying to like slide down. Yes. But he just like falls on his back. Yeah, but it looks scary. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, like, it would have been a hundred percent. I seen him say, "Did you post that?" He that said, I, seen it? "I might have shared it." Yeah, I think, I think did. I might have. But he he literally said he thought he was going to break his back. Like when he was on the way down, he thought like that he was going to be now that's the type of shit but he was fine me, bro. yeah but I know and thank I know, god no, 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 but but if I was him you just wouldn't have took the risk no well, after that happened though I'd have been like right listen no are you with me I that was a sign it's like, really I weird not scary to me because I've had bad falls I've never got like particularly injured I've had bad falls like I've split my head loads of times yeah. like with wee knocks and stuff and but I, yeah luckily no long term injuries but it's weird because even after maybe you take a pretty gnarly slam doing something maybe you're trying a jump and you've slammed twice, you still want to do it. It's really strange. Like yeah, it's like because you know because you, you know it's there. It yeah, you, you know, know you it's there. It. Exactly, you know it's there. So it's like off. It's like anything. You know, I failed twice, but on the third time, I'll probably get it. No, of course. Just and like, I don't love that. I see it with like wee kids and all. Like you know. Yeah. Okay, would you rather walk away? You'd see the dad saying to the kid, go "Keep again, going, go keep again. going." Eventually, they reach and it. It's the thing. Like, see if you leave it as well. So say you leave it and you want to come back to it, then you build up a mental block. It's like anything in life, you build up a mental block of it in your mind, whereas if you just go again straight away, you, you go for it, yeah, you just get it, and then the fear's you gone. Can, yeah. If you come back and do it again, it'll be easier to, yeah. to commit again. So it's, I see parkour as like um, an extreme sport. It, definitely it is, is. No, it is. Yeah, of course it is. Sport, yeah. So would you all, what about any, would you do anything else? Like, um, have you ever seen that where you jump out the... Oh, I love to. You jump out the um the, the yeah, plane. But yeah, blaze jumping. Yes, and, and you, you slide the, down the side of the mountain, yeah. fly down yeah. the side of it. Now Anything like that. Actually, one of my dreams is to do a skydive. Like, I want to do a real skydive. Just a skydive? What? You mean I would jump do out that, I would a parachute? Do, yeah, I would do a skydive first and yeah. then maybe do so something. So you know how it works? My dad's done four. My dad's done Man, four I'd love to do it. I'm jealous. Says, I'd love to do it. I know, I am. I want to do it. In your lifetime, you have to. It's funny, I was talking to my brother, Adam's funny. He says, would you do one? And Adam says to me, um... I would do one, see if we needed to. Like, yeah. if I needed to jump out of the way, I'd be the I'll first do it. to jump I out. Do it. But doing something where you risk your whole life enough for fun. Yeah. 
you know what I mean? Like, why would you do it? Especially when there's so much that you've got to live for. Yeah, I just want to know how it feels. You know yeah, what I mean? I, I want to know how the and air the, time So feels. the first time you jump out, you have to jump out with... Yeah, with someone I, someone told you. Well, mate, to be honest, I wouldn't want to do it by myself for the first time. I'd want I, someone to be or, holding me. Or I think, or I don't know if it's an option, but you can also jump out with a zip. Yeah. You know, uh, so you it's already attached. No, uh, it's attached. So as you jump out, as soon as you oh, get it, just the, goes, it, pulls it for goes. you. Even that you would know? still be cool. Yeah, it would be next level, bro. I'd I love really to do it. Do, I want to do it. I want to do it before, like, something that's been on my bucket list for years now. Like, it's something I really want to do because I just, anyone I know who has done it just says, like, a surreal feel and you can't explain it. Yeah. So, like, I've done indoor skydiving, but you're just floating in a tunnel. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So it's not it's not the same feeling. Like I want to be looking at the ground coming down. Yeah. Thinking, you know what I mean? I've actually just jumped out of a plane. Yeah. It's like same. something from James Bond. Do you know no, what I mean? of course it's serious. It's... And it's the same thing as what I'm talking about. Like it's scary, but after it, you can only imagine the feeling. Yeah. After it, you'd feel, you feel amazing. Uh, yeah. No. What about like um rock climbing and abseiling? Yeah. And do all some that? rock climbing, like in rock climbing gyms and stuff. Go Boulder World, and then if I'm away traveling, I would go to other rock climbing gyms with some yeah. of my friends. I do enjoy it. Definitely not as much as parkour because it's not, it is dangerous if you're doing it outside, but like just in climbing gyms and stuff. Yeah. And as I said, my like it's a different strength. It's like all about your, yeah, it's hard. Yeah. Rock climbing's hard. Like see some of the, do you ever see your film Free Solo? No. About your man who climbs that, he climbs basically a mad mountain with no, he free climbs a, a, the side of a, a really famous mountain. Right. It takes him like four hours. Right. And he's Sick. just climbing on like. And what's the film then? Free solo, it's called. It's like anybody's climbing on wee ledges, like. Yeah. Have just... you seen that other film? I think it's about parkour type guys. But it's a true story, and the cl- or it's not. It's based on a true story. So they climb up that big tar. Oh yeah, yeah. We've seen it, it on Netflix recently. I seen it on Netflix recently. Did you watch it? Yeah, I watched it. Yeah, I watched was it with it my good? girlfriend. Yeah, it's like it's funny because I was watching it with her, and she was the whole time yeah. she was like, "I could never even start climbing up that." Yeah, but I was like, "Ah, oh, I can see how you could like." Do you know what I mean? I wouldn't mind climbing. That's up what I mean. Like you're on a ladder. I know, and you're it on a ladder. Like, like, and you had places. Yeah, that yeah. You could hold back to. Yeah, you yeah. Can even put your feet and relax a wee yeah, second. Yeah, see you when you to... when you're on something like that, you're in control. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's like you can yeah. climb a ladder up to ten feet. You yeah. can climb a ladder even further. Yeah, if you, want you can to. climb it to a thousand. I've feet climbed there. a water tower in America in Florida. It was like that. It was like it's just a big ladder. It's like literally an old water tower from I don't even know how old it was when we climbed the whole way to the top. It's like mad high. So did you do parkour in the big fucking skyscrapers not in America? I did some I actually got in the news, so I, I was in Australia in September. I went over there um to do some coaching to do some parkour teaching. I actually got on the Melbourne news, live news, doing a gap across two building someone filmed it from like it must be an apartment or something that was near the thing um near it was just a jump we climbed up out of a fire escape and then did it and they'd showed me it the guys from um it was in melbourne they'd showed me it they were like oh you know we want to hit this jump but it's really scary and i was like right get me up there i'm gonna do it and i climbed over the fence and then i jumped it and then yeah later on in the evening like all the australian guys were messaging being like yo you know you're on the news like that video of you, someone filmed it from their apartment or their office building or whatever, and it's yeah. like a really bad quality phone angle. <laughs> I, I've jumping. got my own angle of it, obviously. And what is it, you from one building to another? Yeah, not one building to another, yeah. It's like, it's like a probably 10 story drop probably like the, the sort of drop where if is you fall is it on your Instagram yeah I can show you it's yeah. like the ty- it's the type of drop that if you fall you're gonna die like like 100% it's, it's on my phone right. so I'll be able to find yeah. it in two seconds but it's like one of them things it's as I said the jump's not particularly big so it's just like yeah but you're if, not gonna fall so it's just yeah so and what what's the legalities involved like I know the yeah, police in Australia are horrible no, so some, I'm gonna post this up on the actual video. Yeah, so, so they someone can must see have it. someone must have filmed it from. Are you for real? Someone bro? must have filmed it from, and I did a backflip on that Melbourne Bridge as well. Yeah. Wow, now that's cool. Check that. And the pl- the police came. Yeah, well, as you're saying about the legalities, then the police came. So the came. police come then. And yeah. what what were they saying? Did they just well, give you what did they yeah, do, a warning was, or something? The guy was annoyed at the start. That was for the backflip on the big bridge. So yeah. that's a big famous bridge right in the middle of Melbourne. But yeah. In a way, there's no nothing to say. I'm not saying. Obviously, it's not something you should do. I wouldn't encourage anyone else to yeah. do it. But who the fuck but no does one, it anyway? But no, but no, no one. There's nothing to say. You can't climb up it. Like it's just yes. a slope. You can just walk up it. So there's no, and there's no no sign there. No nothing to say. You can't do it. So fair enough. When I came down, he was a wee bit raging for about two seconds, and then he was like, "Do you realise what you did was stupid?" And I was like, "Of course I do." 
Like, but I was never going to fall. Yeah. So. And you should have said, yeah, it's stupid to you, not to me. It's no, that's what I was basically going to say. I said, I said, like, I said, like, I knew I wasn't going to fall. Exactly. Like, do you know what I mean? I'm back from on a huge ledge. I do it on a gymnastics beam. It's, it's like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. But it's one of them things. The legality of it is a bit funny, but because parkour is quite mainstream now, people seem to understand it. Like, even if the police show up to a spot like that, they're usually just like, great lads, could, could you get down? Yeah. And just not do that? Yeah. So I've never had any, like, legal trouble ever. Yeah. Um, we're always very respectful. Like, I don't want to break anything. Like, I want to come and probably do the jump again. So of I don't want to. I don't want to break anything. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Obviously, it's, like, it's not as antisocial as what people would maybe think. And if anything, it probably like for me, it keeps you out of trouble. It kept yeah. me out of trouble as a kid. You know, give, having something to focus on than just because what what do you do if you're bored and in, in, in Belfast especially? Yeah, you get in trouble. Of course, no, obviously. Yeah, did. Uh, we all did. No. And and even good, still did. See, the thing I love about parkour is as well, it's a poor man's sport. Do you need anything? All any. you need, that's Listen, it. You can I be always say that, yeah, always say that to people. All you need, yeah. a pair, you don't even need good trainers, realistically. Yes, you course. just need clothes and trainers. Of course. It's not like skateboarding where you have to, or BMX where you have to buy, yeah. to spend a couple hundred quid to get into it. I mean, you say clothes and trainers, like, do you not think, like, you know... You could do it in bare feet, no? Mate, yeah, people do. There's you know old school I mean? people that do, and they train in bare feet just because it's like more. Technical. I would imagine. I would imagine um, if you were like doing parkour in a like jungly environment. Yeah, people do. You would definitely. Yeah, yeah, would definitely do. prefer being in it, your feet. It's that thing. Like the grippiest thing is your bare feet. Yeah. Like so, it's like shoes are good, obviously, but obviously the thing is taking impact. So like jumps, like I showed you there. Like you're gonna want to wear shoes because it's like there's a lot of force coming down. Yeah. So if you're wear in your bare feet, you bruise your feet badly or cut your feet. But like in scenarios, if you're training in any gyms or anything, it's lovely to bare feet. It's lovely. Like, it's the best feeling. If your feet could take a nice cushion, it would be good. But as you said, it's primal. It's like the grippiest things. Your hands. People say, "Why don't you wear gloves?" I'm like, "Cause nothing's as grippy as your hands." Yeah. And like nothing, does, nothing's as grippy as your feet. And I get that. You're I made to move. Yeah. I've I've seen I mean. a thing like a conspiracy. They said. Um, the rubber on the shoes, yeah, actually, the of the earth is or something. Yeah, I would I would say so. Yeah, because it's taking you away from the touch. Do you know from what I mean? The touch, the, of, the the touch the, of the earth, yeah. like you know what I mean. We come from walking on like so you walking around in forests and all, as you said, yeah. and like in nature, and you know what I mean you're barefoot. Yeah. Whereas obviously now we're all, and it's supposed to be bad for your feet as well. Just wearing shoes in general. Yeah, of course. It's like supposed to be. Sure, I did, I did yesterday, the, the grass, there was a lovely sunny day, I just took yeah. off my socks and shoes, went on the grass, had a spliff. It's a nice feeling. Fell. Yeah, it was it's a lovely. Really nice feeling. It, was it really is lovely. lovely. See, I was walking on a beach, you know, you got yes. your bare feet, you're Love walking it. on this hot sand. Although I'm fucking, I hate them jellyfish though, that's why I've got I my, I freak you. I've got my wee um, sea goodies. Uh, I get the sliders on, yeah. or the crocs. Wee, you know the wee sea goodies? No. Oh the yeah, crocs. they're like, they look like gloves for your feet. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. The I, know, I don't know what the name is, but I know exactly. Do you want to know the story about them crocs? You know crocs? Yeah. Have you ever seen a movie called Idiocracy? Nope. Never seen it? No. Nope. It's actually on Netflix now. You need to watch it. Yeah. So it was it's a genius film, bro. This guy gets um frozen in time and he wakes up in the future. But it's a future where everyone went docile. Yeah. They're stupid. Oh, and they're wearing the, crocs, aren't they? And and well, well would he hear this? So it, it was a film about a dystopian future where yeah. everyone's brain dead. It was made in like two thousand and three or something, two thousand and four. They were looking at stupid footwear to wear in this dystopian yeah, yeah. future. And it's and one of the... No, they found this company, Crocs, and they had just started up. Yeah. So they they got them into this film where everyone in a retarded future yeah, is wearing, wearing these Crocs. shoes. And next thing it's it happening. Up, it's, it's happening. Up. I know it's, it's actually mad because I, I remember... I never wore a pair of Crocs. So I, I can... I wish I could say it. I remember when I was a kid. <laughs> when I was a kid, my mum and dad bought me a pair on holiday or something. And yeah. I wore them, but I haven't worn them since. But now it's a massive trend. I know it you is. You see people wearing them everywhere, like, especially in the US. Every time I'm working in, in the US, everywhere, man. Everywhere yeah. wearing, wearing Crocs. Yeah, idiocracy. I'm sure they are comfortable. They look like they would be comfortable. Yeah. It's like glorified sliders, almost. Yeah. It's like... And then did you ever see the Yeezy ones now? No, yeah, the Yeezy slides. They no, were I, sick. I thought they looked uh, cool. They just look like big fucking yeah. dopey cartoon yeah. shoes or something. You know? Oh, I know the ones you're talking about. They have yeah. the Yeezy slides, which are just like a really padded slider. But I, I know the one you're talking about. They do look ridiculous. Like, yeah, it looks like a bubble. all of them are ridiculous, bro. Have you ever seen any of them fashion shows? Yeah, where you seen Kanye recently? He's like going out wearing like shoulder pads and stuff. He's a fruit look. Yeah. You know, he's, he's, and I did like. It's funny. I've uh, I've always had like a love hate with Kanye. Yeah. I always thought when he first came out, 
I loved it that Jesus walks. Yeah, yeah. You know, he spoke about Jesus walks and then Old School Kanye is unbelievable. And Dear Mama, one of yeah. my all time favourite songs. But they just he, Family Business, one of my all time favourites. Yeah, he just but got then lost he killed in the sauce, yeah. didn't he? Then he sacrificed his mum to the devil. I know. But then he spoke out against it too. Very rare. These are all laughing. Well, he's but he his, actually he's sp- making his own church all now, and like he's on some madness. Yeah, I know he is. It's hard to. It's yeah. I actually just like tune in now just to see what he's saying, like to see how outrageous it's got. I don't think is. I don't think what he says recently is too outrageous. Yeah, no, not. Re- I bet you've ever seen his word. podcast on Rogan. Like the first, the so. first, it like he makes sense, but the first forty-five minutes is just mad. I didn't see that. Now that is, but but then, but then he speaks. Then he's the second coming or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So the first forty-five minutes of it are outrageous, no, but I then, but then, that. And I after that, it, was a it gets to that. Up after that, he starts to actually make like he's making really valid points. Like, yeah. Do you know what I mean? When he started to release on his Instagram, see when he released his who was it personal trainer or something, and he released that message where the personal trainer said to him. You better watch yourself, Kanye, or you'll be ending up back full of drugs yeah. in a mental home and you won't be spending time with your daughter then. That scared the shit yeah, out of me. Yeah. I thought, who the fuck's personal trainer talks yeah, like that? Yeah, I know, I know. That sounds more like a personal hander exactly. from the Illuminati or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Someone's controlling his whole life. Yeah. Hi. I always said that about the X Factor too, bro. It never sat well with me. I'll tell you why. An X is what they used to have yeah. a slave sign a contract with because they weren't smart enough to write their name. They weren't literate. Yeah, they exactly. were never taught how to write. So they would just say to a slave, mm-hmm. just put an X on the dotted line. And it's funny the way that's what the X factor yeah, is. Yeah, well, it's all like, like, you'll never know the real, like, do you know what I mean? What goes on behind the scenes? You'll never know. Yeah. That's the whole thing. Same with Kanye and stuff. Like, you'll just never know where his mind's at. Yeah. It's hard to, you know what I mean? For us, it's hard to even re- re- relate to what. I know. But it's crazy well, to listen, see it. bro, you could have known if see if you had just won Britain's Got Talent, <laughs> Simon could have came to you. That could yeah, have been it done. You're Illuminati up out of your head then. Yeah, well, <laughs> if there's money involved, I'd, I'd be easily swayed. Would you, bro? <laughs> so would you sell your soul for the right amount of money? No, nah, I wouldn't. No, nah, I wouldn't. Nah. What? I would see it, bro. I yeah, can sense you would, it. So. You would know. No. I, I'd be sat in a cab. Yeah. Something they wreck. <laughs> Hold up a minute. Can taste it yeah. in the air. <laughs> Soulless. Nah, bro. No, it's. I would never sell myself. I wouldn't know. Not. I would never do things that I don't believe in myself. Do you know what I mean? I would never portray myself to be something or do things that aren't in my interest. Yeah. You want to be your own, you know, actual self. Yes. That's yeah, all things. So I wouldn't sell my soul, yeah, keep my integrity. Keep, of course. Keep what you're true to yourself. Like, I wouldn't want to, yeah, do yeah. stuff that I'm not cool with just for... Just See, life of. is but a shadow anyway. And you would only ever be trading it for a moment in the in the spotlight. Well, that's it, isn't you know? it? Yeah. And like you said, very soon you're going to get old and grey. Exactly. You won't be able to flip no more yeah. or jump. And I'll be thinking, why didn't, why didn't, I, you know what I mean? Why didn't you just grow, and you'll be Botoxed out of your face, yeah. soulless. Exactly. You know what I mean? It doesn't put you in a better position. Exactly. You, you know what I mean? That's, that's better to grow old gracefully. Well, that's it. Look and back be happy. Your memories yeah. And find yourself a good family now and build yourself a good that's family that, while you're that, young. That's it, man. Like, you want to look back and be genuinely satisfied. My, one yeah. of my biggest fears is actually waking up, like, when you get the, not even, like, 60s, not even old, old, but you wake yeah. up and you think, well, what, what did I actually do with my life? Yes. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You want to look back thinking... It's true. I always think you'll all... When, you're, when it's all said and done, I think you'll find yourself more regretting the things that you didn't do. Exactly. Than the things exactly. that you did do. Exactly. That's how you just do them, you know what I mean? There's exactly. a lot that's, what I, that's what I'm saying. Like, if something's a wee bit scary, go for it. Because yeah. you're going to think back all them years later and think, I'm so happy I did that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's true. And my, the best experiences I've had are all like that. Like, yeah. you're dreading it coming up to the things. Yeah. You're dreading it. You don't want to do it. But then yeah. the feeling after the euphoria and just like, I, you know, I did it. It's mm-hmm. unbelievable. Like, does wonders for your mindset. I think people get, you know how it is, people get comfortable. Now, especially in society when it's just social media and all, they watch other people do all these things and then they're just comfortable doing nothing. It's true, bro. And you don't, you know what I mean? It is indeed. It's it's mad. Like, um, it, I think social media, I think it's a brilliant tool yeah, as well, but 100%. it's also very, very destructive for people that yeah. just sit there and just watch other yeah, people's exactly. lives. exactly. You know what I They're mean? living vicariously through yeah. s- through someone else, yes. that, that, and that's a problem. Yeah. Whereas for people like us, 
Well, we want to do it. Because, no, it's incredible for us because, for example, for a, mus a musician or yeah, something... Yeah, to get yourself out there. It's... I would have had to promote myself hard, exactly, spend yeah, loads exactly. of money on that. Now, this is all at the top of your finger, same yeah. with you. Exactly. Post a wee video doing That's what I mean, yeah. So it's, it's, it's an amazing tool, but also it's 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 both. Do you know what I mean? It's, yeah. It can be positive and negative, I think. Growing up now for kids, younger kids, it's re it's damaging. Of course. Because they don't know without it. At least we know. Even in my generation, probably be the last sort of like, you came up when there was no social media and there was social media. Yeah. And then it boomed. So it's like, you still kind of know, but it's worrying now. Like some kids you speak to and all they can talk about is TikTok or Xbox or and that's all the, because that's all they know. It's not even their fault. It's I just know. all they know. Someone's given them an iPad and just been like, I know, bro. I know. See, it is true. It is true. That's why you have to find a balance, you know? That's it. And I think uh, what you do is a brilliant thing because that's uh, the perfect balance. You're out in the real world risking your life, backflipping off, bit, yeah. bridge, all sorts of shit. Maybe not the best one to do, but like it keeps you out there and it keeps you, you know, yeah. want experiences. And, and look, like, you're utilizing the social media tools yeah, exactly, within yeah. that. Yeah. So you're out in the real world. That's and it. That's how it's supposed to that's, be. Exactly. That's you how know? you're supposed to use it. Well, yeah. yeah. I would say you're supposed to use it, but it's, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's hard. It's a hard thing because it's just there's no. Because even me, I find myself like endlessly just scrolling. Yeah. And then I'll catch myself. I'll be like, I've been scrolling for twenty minutes. I know. I've just been scrolling, and so you're only young. You're twenty five. I'm twenty five. Yeah. So you've still got a good few years in uh, your, of parkour. Yeah. Yet. Five more years, I'll be delighted. Why? Well, so what is the average? Um, well, I was going to say actually, lifespan. Yeah, but... I actually know. Well, hopefully. <laughs> what is the average like? When would you stop thinking, right, this, I'm getting too old for this? Um, there's still people I know training who are in their mid-30s and are actually still progressing. Yeah, so and they're like, still doing... They're still doing, like, pretty gnarly stuff and they're still getting, like, little... Right. Like, little progressions and stuff. So I think it depends heavily on genetics as well. Mm -hmm. Some people's bodies will break down faster than others. Yeah. Me, like, I've already got some knee, like, pains and stuff. So obviously, because it's what you would expect, but hopefully I'd be happy if I could get another five to you know six, six seven five to eight years let's say yeah. out of it. Like, and then what and then what then after that i don't know back to, back to the job yeah back, exactly i've put all my eggs unfortunately i put all my eggs in one basket Listen, you're talking to yeah me exactly right that's all i've done with my whole life but that's the same i've put all my thing into the thing that i'm really passionate about it and i'm lucky that it's went the same as yourself it's went well yeah to this point it's went it's went really well it's yeah. took, took, took us to where we are but that's what do you do see, after that? Be good to see you even like build, set up a business or something, and yeah. start teaching kids. We have or no, I already do. Well, I don't coach too much anymore. I did previously yeah. before I started doing like um, commercial stuff and online uh, partnerships and stuff. I was doing a lot of coaching, but we have a gym in West Belfast, right? In Full Glass Four Parkour, fantastic. So my mate Josh owns it, so it's called the Playground. Yeah, so we have that. So That's it's always good. like it's always a potential. You know, you could always go into yeah, you know, teaching or something after, but. Yeah, the passion's actually in doing it for me. Yeah, I love it, bro. Keep her with it anyway. I'm dead proud of you, bro. Thank you, man. And then, but, but music wise, what type of music do you listen to? I actually like I like old school hip hop more. Good man. I'd say, I'm trying to think who my favorite, who my most listened artist to is. Actually, probably, uh, you know, Big Pun, Big Punisher, of course. Sure, you're I know, only of saying course that. You do. He's my favorite. I didn't know that though. He's my all time really? favorite. He's I didn't know that though. Big that, Pun, bro. But that's like but old school. Did my brother old, play you Big school. Pun at the no, bar? No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Because he always oh, plays no, he did. Fun. He did play us the piano, and he was unbelievable. Yeah, he's played like, the piano. Unbelievable. Since he's no, again. I know. I was like, I was like, I was joking with him. I was like, oh, does your brother get it from you? Then is that yeah. where is that where he gets the music from? Yeah. And he was like, nah, 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 nah. But he's really unbelievable. Like my girlfriend was like, um, oh, he's like, any requests? And I was like, he, I'm telling you now. He played one song, and I was like, he, you know, he's an impressionist. I was like, he can play anything. If you ask yeah. him to play something, he's gonna be able to play it. And she was like, oh, I love Titanic. Play Titanic. Yeah. He played the most unreal version of he's Titanic you've ever heard. He can play anything, bro. Anything he plays, um, loads of different yeah. shit. It was actually know? unbelievable. Like, it was, yeah, yeah it's he crazy. does. He makes up his own versions. Of that, stuff. That's, that's what I'm saying. That's what he did. It was a different version. He had different um, yeah. courses and stuff, but it was just like unbelievable. Yeah, like, he does tunes where he like makes a medley. Of yeah, a couple yeah. Of different yeah, that's what I mean. It was like. Album. It was, but it was unbelievable. Yeah, he's played the piano his whole life, like, you know, since he was about 11 or 12. Because I didn't even notice the piano was in there. When we first went in, we went straight up to the bar and we're sitting there. And then eventually later on the night, I noticed it. And I was like, oh, I must play. And then he was like, yeah, yeah I'll play something. Jeez. That was unbelievable. Like, seriously, the bar is lovely. Yeah, even Cabaret good. is an area in general. It's yeah, just like it's so good. The Cali Caves there too. Did you go to the Cali Caves? No, cave? I didn't, actually. Should have went to the Cali Caves. I went. I didn't know it was there. I, yeah. I, I didn't know about... Uh, the Cali like, Caves like five minutes away from the yeah, bar. Yeah, I didn't you know? know about that. No, I didn't know. Did you see all my leather work in the bar? 
I'm sure I did. I don't know yeah, if I so I had like other sure big banners and all that yeah. I had carved up, you know. It's a lovely bar yeah, inside of it. The he said he did, yeah, the Westerner took. He said he, he obviously got a COVID and all. It took him a while to get it. Yeah. To get it up and actually. Yeah, it did. It did. It's unbelievable. It, yeah, it's special. So if you're ever in Cabaroy, anyone, check out the, the Westerner. Western. Lovely. What are you calling it? The Westerner. Is that what it is? The Western. The Western, sorry. <laughs> That's I thought it was, well, I doesn't. I was pissing. <laughs> you were pissed. I wasn't pissed, pissed. But by the time I left, I was pissed. I was pissed, pissed. Yeah. After no, all I don't know. Nice shots. I love Spain. I lived there for like five years, you know, but I'm... It's good quality of life there. I don't know, bro. I'm going to tell you the truth. I think I love here. Love home. Yeah. I know, I, I know what you mean. Like, I've lived away most of my life, so coming back to me, yeah. it feels like home in like our childhood yeah, sense. Yeah, yeah. But like... It's all still new to me, and yeah. you know what I mean. All the food it's, and everything. It's weird because the... like I get the same because I travel a lot for work and stuff, and I spent months in other countries and stuff. But I always do like genuinely actually miss home. Like you do, you look forward to coming back. Of I think it's more about for me. It's more about the people. Like see the crack you have here and stuff. It's just not. It's not the same anywhere else. It's not. It's hard to explain. It is. No, I know exactly. You know, you what, know what I mean? mean. Like I it's, it's not the same. Like I you do don't. Know. But that's what I loved about being in Spain too. Um, and when I met like Danny in the yeah. Cali cave and all, there's then a, there was a camaraderie. Yeah, and yeah, there's like, loads oh. of, well, it's all, a, a lot of that, obviously, Cabaroy and stuff, it's all retired. Um, yeah. Irish. And Irish, English, British yeah. people, yeah, yeah it's, it's all. True. So it's a, a, for a holiday, it's unreal, because you can just, like, have the crack with everyone. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's a lovely place to go as a, I'll definitely be going back soon, because that's the first time I've been in a couple of years. Because yeah. my, my granny actually lives there. That's your bro. She, she, she's not, she's not Spanish, but she's, um, she just retired there. Yeah. So I'll go over and see her. That's the first time I've been in ages. And yeah. Sick shit. So what's your plan next? Where are you going next? Marga. When judge, are you going to Judge a competition Sunday. Fantastic, bro. And what are you doing? Judging? Just judging a competition, yeah. So you're turning into Simon Carl now. Basically, yeah. <laughs> I just have to score on a wee sheet. Yeah. yeah. And what, you're judging um, young parko, up and coming parko? Well, not even young. It's the final of the um, one of the biggest competitions in the US. So it's men. Wow. It'll be men and women. That's fantastic. So like adults, yeah. Amazing. And yeah. what you're a judge then? So they yeah, must judge. like. So you must be highly respected then in the parkour um, community, like the big. I judge. mean, I think so. I've judged like all basically all the major competitions, so I think so. You're a G. Hopefully, hopefully, I'm well respected. I'd like to think you're so. You're a G. Belfast, real life Spider Man. That's it. That's what I told you, bro. Yeah. You're a fucking G. We'll keep our lips. BBC up, said it first. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> Did they say that? Uh, yeah, I had a story on them. Like, yeah, and did they say the real ago. life Belfast yeah, yeah, Spider Man? Yeah, yeah. Did they? They did. See, yeah. Great lines. Think I like. <laughs> I didn't go, even yeah. know that. BBC, yeah. though. What did I like? I'm glad it's in the, it's in the air. Yeah, yeah, of people, course people it is, know bro. It. You're damn right. You should dress up as Spider Man and go out one day doing backflips and I'll freak everyone out. If someone's going to pay me, I'll do it. I'm telling you, I might have to pay you for <laughs> your maybe, maybe, uh, birthday party. Get ready to a kid's birthday. <laughs> I'm telling let, you. let loose. I'd actually be good. Bro. Jump on a few roofs. Yeah. Oh, Try not stop. to break anything. That would be serious. I might have to get that done. Yeah. Listen, bro, it was fucking good yes, to mate. have you on. You're a G. Lovely. Keep Lovely to bro. meet you, mate. George, much love. Thank you, everyone. God bless. What's happening? This is John Sue.